So you agreed to be on Ride in the Big Wheel. And so as a result, I asked you if you would think about sharing with us a big wheel moment for you. And, you know, I like to think about a big wheel moment as just an aha, an epiphany. It might not have been life-changing. It might have been. So is there a big wheel moment that you could share with us today? Sure. And, I mean, I'd, um, probably there's a lot. But I think if I were I, like, had an aha moment that, um, like, felt rewarding but also felt like this is a massive learning for me that I did not necessarily understand and wouldn't have if I hadn't gone through the experience. And I don't know if anybody else has used this, but COVID for me, um, as a leader, when we moved, um, we had, and I'm sure other people have similar stories, but this was just <laughs> very acute for us. So within the first, right before we had to um, leave the office, our largest customer um, told us that they were not going to be renewing because they had um, gotten hit with budget cuts that they had to get $3 million into the budget. And it was all sort of related to COVID um, mm-hmm. because it was a utility company. And so their world had changed because we were they were in a situation where they were told that they couldn't cut off residential power. Well, uh-huh. that was their only leverage for getting paid for people who weren't paying them. And then the commercial power consumption went away overnight. So they were sitting at a very different mm-hmm. economic situation. So we lost that one. And then we had another that was a clothing manufacturer, but almost all of their clothing was being in footwear was being manufactured in China. Well, we were supposed to get on a kickoff call for the next year. We did. We have strategic planning software. It was a strategy kickoff. And we came to that call and they told us that basically the entire company um, was essentially being shut down, but that their whole um, strategy department had been shuttered. And so we lost our first and second customers within 27 days of each other. So I wasn't entirely sure we were going to make it through. And we had a lot of headwinds. We also had a lot of um, businesses that were hospitals. And so I naively thought, well, we are at least a lot of our revenues with hospitals. If anybody's going to be making money, it's going to be hospitals. Well, that was not the truth because I had no, you know, didn't really recognize that, you no, know, their business model, they make most of their money off of elective surgery. Mm. Well, guess what wasn't happening? You weren't yeah. having like plastic surgery or things that were not like had to have had to take place and like outpatient stuff and all that sort of came to a halt. Um, so it was also, they had all these, um, we were working with strategy departments. And so most hospitals have one year, three year, five year, 10 year plans. And so they put a lot on strategic planning. Mm -hmm. And so all of those people were being reappointed, like, okay, so go find gloves and go find nurses and go find. So it was Mm -hmm. all hands on deck for almost every single hospital. So, you know, like here was our main, you know, concentration of customers that were being impacted in such an extreme way. So we were having a churn problem. And, you know, like I, like literally in March, April, May of 2020, I was not sure that we were going to be able to get through. So for me as a leader, I had like most of, you know, I was always sort of the cheerleader, which you have to be, but it was always about sort of the business and like, let's say focus on our customers. And like, it was always my engagement with everybody was less about sort of what was personally happening to them. So then it became, okay, your number one goal has nothing to do with, well, it, quasi, but not really. It just doesn't have to do with growth. You know, you're just, you have a responsibility to everybody on this team. But not only did I have a responsibility, everybody did. So I like Mm. completely shifted to saying, okay, like on this Zoom call, look to the square to your left and your right. And we, we have an obligation to each other to get everybody on this call to the other side. Mm. And so that means we have to like go to the mat for every customer. We have to like bind together. We have to, not only keep focus on our customers, but on each other. And so if you have a colleague that doesn't sound right, if you have a colleague Mm -hmm. that needs something really flexible because they have children at home that are on Zoom and they're in elementary school, so they have to have different working hours. If somebody doesn't sound right, ask them how they're doing. And we started doing like, I think we called it Wellness Wednesday. And so I'd send out like water bottles and we would all get together and talk about the importance of hydration or like essential oil and like breathing techniques. And we would all practice it. And then we would have other people. So everybody knew that, you know, and and then openly talking about it, like 
This is unprecedented. We don't know what to expect. But as a business, we can only control what we can control. So we got to give it everything that we've got. But it's not because we have some, you know, objective of growth that we're trying to hit this year. It's because we want to make sure that everybody that came into this year with us, we get to the other side. And so we owe it to each other. And that takes on two forms. That takes on uh, the health of the business so that we don't have to, you know, have a riff or let people go. So that's like one dimension of it. The other is checking in with each other and supporting them in a way that is meaningful um, because we are each other's extension of a family because a lot of people don't have their family with them in the ways that they've been able to engage with them before. So we have to take on that role. So for me, it was a very deliberate but different mindset that I'd never like had to been forced to before. And I am very proud to say we all made it to the other side and we actually came out way stronger on the other end. 